Catching your own shrimp in Hawaii for dinner can be a lot of fun. And if you're going after shrimp in Alaska, well, they sure can make it look easy. Up there, without too much effort, shrimp come up by the handfuls. But for me, the best part about catching shrimp is when it arrives at the dinner table, even if I have to cook it myself. So when my friends asked me to go with them to catch some prawns, there was no way I could refuse. Besides, they said the best way to enjoy prawns is to have them prepared fresh for a midnight snack. We are taking this adventure with very good friends of the Let's Go Fishing Show. As you can see, these guys have all the cool toys. You know, Troy, I've gone saltwater torching before, but uh, what's this about? This is uh, prawning in the freshwater reservoirs around here, you know. Uh, they come from the mountains, they get swept down, and now they're here at the bottom. So we'll be walking around looking for uh, some, hopefully some nice sized prawns. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, we've been doing this for maybe three months now. Good deal, good deal. Do you eat them? Uh, I have. Are they good? They're pretty good. Can you catch me some so I can eat some? Sure will. Okay, so with the torching though, we do we have to go, I mean, how deep is it going to get? Uh, it'll be anywhere from about, you know, a few inches to a couple of feet, maybe. Uh-huh. Uh, well, if you include some of the muddy areas, maybe we'll get down to about four or five feet. Okay, that's when you go in, right? Yeah. yeah I'll stay on top. Right, so <laughs> let's get started. All right. Okay. So, they'll be all in, like, you see all the, this area? Yeah. It's, it's all about two to three inches. They'll be all in these little crevices by the rocks. They'll just be wandering around. Yeah. Thank you, Troy. Oh, when they want to be, they're fast, huh? Yep. Hey, kid, how do you like this, man? Freshwater torching, huh? Freshwater torching. <laughs> Crazy. Look this old pool. It's That's a big biggest one. Biggest old pool ever seen. It is delicious. Now, how do you figure this one out? Well, it was interesting because what happened was we came out here fishing. We used to fish a lot around here, and uh, we used to see the prawns, you know, a few at a time during the day. And, one of my friends advised me that we should come and I should check it out and see what it would be like and end up being really good so we kept coming. One more, huh? One more. <laughs> Not as big as the first one, but... Troy, what? Are there quite a few out there? Uh, more sparse than usual, but they're around. All right. To make us work a little bit, that's okay. Yeah. Awesome. Have you caught these before, Keith? First one. First time ever. First time ever. Oh, you got two. Yeah. Don't forget to share. <laughs> Troy, what are you doing, man? We're gonna try to uh, get them from underneath the bush. They're all hiding deep inside all this stuff here. Okay, you gotta really wanna catch a prawn, I guess. 
So what we try to do here is uh, we go in, we'll swim around a little bit, try to shoot as many as we can. Of course, you know, our kicking and whatnot gets the water all cloudy with all the dirt we kick up. We'll come out, we'll let it sit for another 10 minutes, then we'll go back in and do it all over again. Boy, this has been a lot of fun, and it's just about to get even better. Time for that midnight snack. Folks, don't go away. Much more on the fishing show is coming your way right after you catch this.